Namaste guys, Rajesh here for Namaste Tech and in this video, I am going to show you how to insert an SD card on the Moto E4 Plus as well as how to move applications to it. Interestingly, despite coming with a metallic build, the Moto E4 Plus features a removable back. This is not immediately obvious, so don't be surprised when you don't find any SIM card slot or a microSD card slot on the handset when you try to insert one. To insert an SD card on the Moto E4 Plus, you first have to pry open the back cover. To make this easier, Motorola has designed a small notch on the bottom left corner of the device. Simply insert your fingernail in that notch and pull open the back cover. Make sure to open it from all ends before completely pulling it off. Once done, you can find the SIM card slots as well as the micro SD card slot. The SIM 2 slot is located on the left side while the micro SD and the SIM 1 slot are combined into one and located on the right side. The SIM slot is located beneath the SD card slot. So if you are inserting a SIM card, insert it first followed by the micro SD card. Inserting the SD card is a pretty easy process and all you need to do is slide it into the slot. Once done, simply install the back cover again and wake up your Moto E4 Plus from sleep. If the SD card is already in a compatible format, you will receive a message saying an SD card has been inserted on the device. Now, since the Moto E4 Plus makes use of adoptable storage feature, you have to format the SD card as portable storage before you can move applications and games to it. For this, you'll first have to head over to settings, storage, and then tap on the SD card name being shown under portable storage. From where you have to tap the three dot overflow menu button followed by storage settings. Then simply select the format as internal storage option. Depending on the size of the SD card, the formatting procedure will take around four to five minutes. Do try to use a class 10 or higher SD card since, since a slower card can affect system performance. Also, Make sure to back up all important data from the SD card before you start the formatting procedure as all data from it will be completely wiped during the setup process. If you're using a slow SD card, you will also get a warning saying that the system performance can be affected due to it. Once formatted, you'll automatically get an option prompting you to move your already existing data from internal storage to the SD card and the migration assistant will also show the amount of space that will be freed up on the internal storage of your Moto E4 Plus. Now jumping to the point of this video, how to move applications to SD card on the Moto E4 Plus. After setting up the SD card as internal storage, head over to settings, apps. Once the list of installed applications is populated, then tap on the name of the application that you'd like to move to external storage. From its app info screen, Tap storage followed by the change button located under storage used. Then select the SD card installed on your device and tap on move to start the process. Again, depending on the size of the application, the whole process can take up to five minutes. Do remember that you cannot move all applications to SD card using this process since developers have to explicitly make their app compatible with Marshmallow's adoptable storage feature. Also note that you will not be able to easily move files to and fro from your PC once you have formatted the SD card as internal storage. Similarly, the SD card will also not be recognized by other devices unless it's formatted first. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you found the steps in this video useful. Make sure to drop a comment below do appreciate our efforts by subscribing to our channel, liking this video and sharing it with your friends. Thanks for watching.